Drinking and driving gets a lot of attention, and it is common knowledge that getting behind the wheel of a car can be deadly. Not as well known that the same is true for anyone captaining a boat. The Illinois Conservation Police are constantly looking for impairment on the water and will be on even higher alert for summer weekends and the 4th of July celebrations. CBS 2's Lauren Victory heads out on one of their crucial patrols. We just try to be on the water as much as possible. I'm going up. Coming up. Illinois Conservation Police Officers Nick Reed and Ashton Gilliam let CBS2 tag along as they scan the chain of lakes for drunk boaters. What are some signs that an operator could be impaired? Well, just like anything else, I mean, a lack of inhibition is being carefree, uh, definitely disregarding no wake zones, just uh, the same way uh, you disregard a traffic control device. Officers say boozing and boating all day in the sun can accelerate drunkenness. When you're dehydrated from drinking, bouncing around on the waves and fighting the wind, it's harder to stay focused on the water in front of you. Illinois Conservation Police have arresting powers and all the equipment on the boat to make one, including a breathalyzer. So this is only basically when someone's is already completed field sobriety test. The goal is to stop boating under the influence or BUIs before they happen. The constant presence of a boat labeled police is key. More people would die every year out here if we were not out here as much as we are. I feel really confident saying that. Anything to take a help people make those informed decisions. The Swazics appreciate the power of these patrols. An individual, if they feel they're under the influence, they should have somebody else drive the boat. Uh, just like a car. Why would that be any different? This week marks seven years since they lost their daughter Megan in a boating crash involving alcohol. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. They are so passionate about getting their message out about drunk boating that they've placed this full page ad in their local newspaper today. Tonight at 10, we will hear more from that family, including the one word related to Megan's death that really gets her father upset. Mm. You do not want to miss this critical life-saving story again on the CBS 2 News tonight at 10.